Michael Bishop, born 1945, USA. Ancient of Days, published 1985. Shown here in the UK Paladin edition and the Arbor House US World First hardcover. When restaurant owner Paul Lloyd takes a phone call from his commercial artist ex-wife Ruth Clare, telling him that a strange pint-sized being is sitting in a tree in her garden, he readily offers assistance. Despite the mild cynicism that Paul employs to dampen his continued attachment to Ruth Clare, he has to admit that she's correct. The mysterious visitor is a specimen of Homo habilis, one of mankind's ancestors thought to be extinct for a million years. But what is Handyman doing in the contemporary Bible Belt USA? To Paul's dismay, Ruth Clare coaxes Adam, as she calls him, into the couple's former shared home and shortly the Habiline is sharing her bed. Stifling his jealousy, Paul's sidelined role in the menage shifts when the world's scientific and tabloid press discover Adam and the local Ku Klux Klan takes an unhealthy interest in the proto-human's racial provenance. Just as Ruth Clare accepts a commission to paint a tableware set depicting the genealogical tree of the family hominidae, Adam is forced to defend himself in a manner that will have tragic consequences. Michael Bishop emerged as a leading writer of anthropological SF in the 70s, displaying his interest in human behaviour in a number of novels set on other planets. Showing an ease with social comedy written in a persuasive mainstream style, Ancient of Days tackles the question of how we define ourselves in a warm, dignified manner. Deftly ensuring that the absurd elements of Adam's spiritual transformation from net nibbler to amateur theologian never descends into slapstick, this gently amusing yet thoughtful book also conjures considerable sympathy for the ousted Paul without descending into mawkishness. Bishop also wrote the first SF novel about Philip K. Dick in his gripping homage The Secret Ascension, also known as Philip K. Dick is Dead, alas. Far more obscure than he deserves, Michael Bishop provides a humanistic foil to the high-tech attractions of the postmodern, cyberpunk and new radical hard SF that dominated the genre for the past two decades. I wrote that in 2005 and it was published in 2006. Other recommendations I made was to suggest the readers also read Count Geiger's Blues. And on the question of Are We Not Men from The Island of Dr. Moreau, here's some instances of where SF goes ape. I'd suggest readings of Paddy Chayefsky's Altered States, Philip Jose Farmer's The Alley Man, Jack London's Before Adam, and Will Self's Great Apes. This is Stephen e. Andrews, Outlaw Bookseller, signing out. Tune back in again for more 100 must-read science fiction novels. Bye for now. Yeah.